The Holy Tales. Hello, and we're here to listen to a new story from Holy. Come, let's go. Welcome, kids. I knew you'll be here soon. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of John. John Wanerius was the younger son of Zebedee and Salome, and the younger brother of James the Elder, who was also a disciple of Jesus. John was one of the most beloved disciples of Jesus, and like his elder brother, he too was a fisherman. John lived with his family in Bethsaida, and Capernaum, and later in Jerusalem. He went around the world preaching his master's doctrines, and also went and preached in the churches of Asia Minor. After John became a disciple to Jesus, he wrote the Gospels of John one, John two, John three, and Revelations. Once, John was banished to the Isle of Patmos as a prisoner for preaching in the name of Jesus. Later. He was freed, and he eventually died due to old age. John was not only a man of action, but he was also very ambitious and held no tolerance for unfair or selfish people. John was very close to another disciple named Peter, and they would often be sent together for ministry work. But it was John who always stood out. And acted as the spokesperson of the band. As years went by, old age caught up with him, and he soon forgot all about his ambition. All he remembered was the Lord's command of love. John once wanted to take his own life by drinking poison from a chalice, but the Lord spared his life for all the good deeds he had done all his life. He finally died of natural causes, and the chalice with the snake became his apostolic symbol. That was the story of John. I hope you children enjoyed it. Oh yes! The Holy Tales. And today I am going to tell you the story of Judas. Judas, the traitor. Whom I would like to know more about him. Come on, let's begin with the story. Judas Iscariot was the son of a man called Simon, and he lived in Kiriath of Judah. In spite of being a disciple, he was the traitor, because of whom Jesus was put to the cross. He betrayed Jesus and broke his trust for thirty pieces of silver. However, the guilt of betrayal eventually led him to kill himself. Judas was one of the closest disciples of Jesus, and he was given the responsibility of being the treasurer. Unlike the other disciples, who were Galileans, Judas was a Judean. As he came from Judea near Jericho, Judas was also one of the outspoken members who were quite prominent among all the twelve disciples. Judas loved his nation with all his heart and always wanted to do something big. So he joined Jesus's band to fulfill his own nationalistic dreams and wishes. Judas would often take undue advantage of being the treasurer and take money from the common fund for his own personal use. Jesus knew and understood all of this, but he never judged him for that. Judas betraying Jesus for thirty pieces of silver is of great mystery to people even now. It is difficult for people to see someone so close to Jesus, who was a witness to so many miracles and teachings of his master, 
could ever betray him into the hands of his enemies. But it is not Judas' betrayal that put Jesus on the cross. It was our sins. Later, Matthias replaced Judas among the twelve disciples, and he went to places like the shores of the Caspian Sea and Cappadocia to spread the gospel. So that was the story of Judas the traitor. I see. So the lesson for today is, we should not take undue advantage of the power given to us, and also not be greedy like Judas. Well done, Freckles. So it is important that you all be good children. Yes, Holy, we will. The Holy Tales Today's story is about Philip. Uh-oh! Okay! Philip was one of Jesus' disciples who preached in Phrygia. He is known to have died a martyr in Hierapolis. Like Peter and Andrew, Philip too came from the town of Bethsaida and he too probably was a Galilean fisherman. Philip's name comes to life in the Gospel of John, even though his name was recorded in the first three Gospels. The Gospel of John tells us that Philip was one of the first to whom Jesus addressed the words, Follow me. When Philip met Christ for the first time, he said to Nathanael, We have found him, of whom Moses and the prophets did write. Nathanael was skeptical about following Jesus, but Philip was not, not even once. He was known not to have a skeptic mind. He was simple and had abundant faith in Christ. Philip was a man with a warm and loving heart. He wanted to do a lot of things for others and help them. But he did not understand or see how it could be done. It is said that Philip died by hanging. And before he died, he requested his body to be wrapped in papyrus and not in linen like Jesus. Because... He thought his body was not worthy of getting treated in the same way as his Lord. His apostolic symbol is a basket. And most importantly, it was Philip who had stressed the cross as the sign of Christianity and victory. Whoa! That was a nice story. So it is because Philip that we have the cross as the sign of Christianity. Mmm, yes. Didn't you enjoy the story? My friends and I surely did. So, come back soon and keep watching. Bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole